Look, we haven't played Test Match Cricket for five or six months, and I think physically it's taken quite a lot out of him, physically and mentally, because it's a, um, it's a big difference batting for 75 overs or whatever they've done there and having a hit in 25 or 30 in a one-day game. So mentally and physically, they're both pretty blown at the moment. I think assessment of the wicket, um, at first at first there was a lot of maestro, maestro in the wicket and some some of the guys like like myself we struggled we struggled to find the, the, the length and line. But afterwards we, we settled in very quite well and, and found that that, that length and line. That that what gives us the three wicket. At fifty five for three it didn't look like there was any gulf between the two sides. I mean um, the West Indies are right in it there and had rounded for four had the bales fallen off there. Um, we'd all have said the West Indies had a great day, so you can take nothing for granted in this side. We've really got to make sure we continue the good work that those two have set up for us today. So, uh, But by no means um, are we getting carried away with today's batting performance or the West Indies bowling performance today. We know that there's a lot of hard work left in these next 14 days for us. The guys stuck, stuck, stuck to the task. We, we came up with a, with a number of plans and we tried it. It just didn't work. Um, I want to say that congrats to, to AB and Amla. They, I think they played well, but our, our boys has, has really worked hard today. I think we're fortunate we've got um, probably the two, two of the best batters in the world in our side at the moment, Hashim and AB. I mean, both the records are phenomenal. Um, it's very difficult to separate them, particularly in this format. Um, and look, AB is just naturally gifted. He's just got such good hand eye coordination and added to that he's got a very good cricket brain, he understands his game, he understands his technique. And the biggest X factor with both of them is that they're able to score quickly and put sides under pressure. So it's very difficult for bowlers to settle against them because they're always looking to score when opportunities are there to score. I remember an innings Ashim played in, in Perth against Australia in that 196 he got very absolutely dominated Australia for a session in the afternoon session of the second or third day I think it was and They've both got the ability to do that, which is always a, a big concern for opposition bowlers.